hi YouTube today I'm gonna to be doing a video on this magic minerals airbrush foundation by Jerome Alexander as seen on TV so I've never seen an ad for this on TV before but I was in my CVS and I saw this and I was like super intrigued and I thought let's give it a go on my channel um so what do you get you get the brush and you got the actual makeup powder itself it says a professional flawless look super quick and easy neutralize imperfections look years younger light silky incredible even finish buildable yet breathable medium to full coverage so that's interesting you could probably build it up quite a bit airbrush techniques like fashion shows use magic mineral pigment even out evens out skin tone extra bonus is the kabuki brush shade light so what do I already have on my skin I've got this Pumpkin Seraphine Botanicals Luminous Silk uh, Primer. This is on my face right now. And this, I chose this because it works with my other powder foundation. So I'm hoping it's going to work with this. I'm trying to be like as fair as possible to the product. I also am wearing my Huda Beauty Concealer. And this is in the shade, what shade is this? Marshmallow. I have it under my eyes and I have it around my nose here. Everywhere else is just primed and ready for the product. And then I am wearing this palette here. This is the Gilded palette. And I actually have a review on this. If you want to check that out, I'll leave the video in the description. So this is kind of like a quick decision. I just decided today I'm going to do it. My daughter went down good for a nap. So we're going to test this out. So the directions. It says, shake well and hold approximately two to three inches from brush. Spray lightly onto the brush and then buff into skin. Repeat for areas needing fuller coverage. Brush over the face from forehead to chin. Let me give this a good shake again. This is what it looks like. Two break seal, press down firmly. Okay, scary. This is the brush if you want a closer look at it. And this is, I'm talking about the cap. So I'll spray that away from my face. Okay, here we go. Shake, shake. I've inhaled that, <laughs> it's probably not good. All right, it's not really showing as much, it's not really showing up how much I have on the brush on camera, but I do have a lot. All right. Whoa. <laughs> this is not light. Alright, I'm not going to say this is not for fair skinned people. This is a fail. Alright, so. Very orange. On me anyway. I might see if my mom wants this. Alright, what I'm going to do is maybe try to do some sort of like contour with it. But I won't be able to test this out as a foundation. Now, I am buffing this into the skin, and if this was a lighter coverage, I might actually like this. Let me, it has a really, really nice sheen to it. Yeah, it's definitely way too dark on me. Why am I shaking? I'm shaking this like a bottle. Alright, let's, I'm going to have to try to save this. But it does, it feels, um, like tacky, almost like it is a cream. It definitely feels like tacky, like a cream, for sure. It's very glowy. Okay. Obviously, this cannot be a foundation for me. So I'm just going to, like, apply the extra on my forehead, try to save this video. It's not how I thought it was going to go. I thought this was going to be light enough, and if I needed to, I could have brightened it up with some concealer, but yeah, it's not going to work. I wish I didn't just do like half my face there. Oh my gosh, what was I doing? Alright, so let's just talk about it. You know what? No. Let me go fix this mess here before I look like I look like an Oompa and then I'll come back and talk to you about it. Okay guys, I'm back. So there's actually 12 shades. There's one shade lighter than this shade called light it the shade that's lighter is actually called fair 
Um, so there's 12 shades. I think I definitely would need at least the fair. I don't know what the undertone is because this is so orange on me and I'm very cool. I don't know if the fair shade would actually be like cool tone enough for me. So anyway, so I, you know, you saw me apply it here and then I added some here and I added some on my forehead. Then it was very orange. So I came back after I fixed it and two phone calls later. <laughs> I didn't put any product on top of here where I had applied it or on my forehead so you could get a good idea and it's not set with powder because technically it is a powder but it did actually go on um the skin looking almost like a foundation it was very dewy it was very light doesn't feel heavy at all had a beautiful sheen to it you can still see the sheen here I don't have no I didn't put any highlight on so you can see the sheen it's really really pretty sorry my chair is squeaking um, I, I like it. I mean, if it was, like, cooler and it was my shade, I would have definitely loved to, like, do a full day wear test and put it all over my face. So what I did to kind of fix it was I put a little tart Shape Tape and some tart Maracuja Tinted Moisturizer and kind of just blended it up a little bit to kind of make this more like a bronzy contour so I can get away with it. It is kind of orange, so I don't know if it's coming across super orange on camera, but in person, it was very orange. So I really had to, like, dial it back to make this look work. So overall, I would recommend it, I think. I think this would be a really cool product. So I look forward to possibly trying this in the fair shade. So I'm going to probably give this to my mom, who has a slightly darker complexion than I do, or possibly, um a cousin or aunt somebody who can enjoy this I'll see what they think when they try wearing it as a foundation that'll be interesting and then maybe I can base whether or not I try it in the lighter shade on their opinion anyway so thank you so much for watching again I have a video on this eyeshadow palette if you like what's going on with my eyes here um please check that out I'll link it in the description and I'll also link like the other makeup products I have on my face too Overall, this video, slight fail because I wasn't able to wear it as a foundation as intended, but it does make a pretty bronzer. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it. What do you guys think? No, no, no. I'll give it to somebody. Anyway, thank you for watching, and if you want me to try anything else out, if anybody's watching or has any ideas on kind of like some interesting, innovative makeup products like this, because I do think this is very innovative and different, please let me know, and I will look into them. So anyway, that'd be really cool. Alright, have a great day, guys.